boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smiley. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I wanted to share a story with you today and it's called Bear Feels Scared. And I think we all know what it feels like to feel scared sometimes. Maybe you are you get scared and you're afraid of the dark or maybe um, other things scare you. Maybe being in a big crowd of people can scare you or maybe um, going to someplace new could be scary for you. Maybe thunderstorms scare you. So I know when I was a little girl, I was very afraid of thunderstorms. When there was lightning and thunder, I was so scared at night, especially at night. And this is a story about one of my favorite characters to read about, Bear. There he is, our main character. He has lots of animal friends. And they are helping him. Bear feels scared. So I think you're really going to enjoy this story and kind of make some predictions and think when what's happening in the story. Kind of predict in your head what you think is going to happen next. What's going to happen on the next page. And the pictures in this book are really fun. So make look at the pictures and use those to get picture clues so you can make your prediction think oh wait I see that in the picture maybe this could happen that might be a fun way to make a good prediction too this is written by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman and I hope you enjoy it bear feels scared I have lots of fun bear stuck stories that I love to read okay now this is a great picture that Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman put in here. And it really gives you a good feeling for the setting. It's the forest, it's windy, it's dark, it's cool, and it's raining. And you can even tell that I think it's fall or winter because you can see the leaves blowing. Probably fall, look at this picture. That looks like a fall color picture, doesn't it? In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Here comes bear. Bear's Tommy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. So he's out looking for a snack. So what rhymes with snack? back. Very good. He is not home yet when the sun, sun starts to set and Bear feels scared. So boys and girls think now when the sun sets it starts to get what outside? Dark. Okay, so look, look at this picture. He looks scared. He's holding on to that tree. Bear shakes and he shivers as the storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? So he's pretty scared. The path goes dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. So he's lost, Bear is lost. He can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. Think of where his bucket is right now. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, Friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. So here are all of his friends back at his cave. It's nice and warm and cozy. Where's bear? It's, it is late, mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries hare. Shouldn't bear be home? So they're getting worried about their friend. Here they are, they're all by the fire. We'll open this up. Okay. Wren tweets from his perch, we must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? So they're worried about him. They don't want their friend to feel scared. Their friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend, Bear. Getting all ready. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. 
there's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Poor bear. This is such a good picture. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend, and the bear feels scared. Looks scary, doesn't it? Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild west, wet weather. There they go. They're all looking. You see the birds are looking high up in the sky. They're looking from there and here are all the animals are looking down on the ground, aren't they? They call, ho bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Thinks he hears a friend. Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear. He is there. And they sigh a big sigh. <sighs> By a tree waits Bear. 10 feet from his lair, and the bear looks scared. So they're telling the animals where they can find their friend bear. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bear fears. There they are, giving him lots of love and hugs, trying to make him feel safe again. Isn't this a neat picture? Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night and the bear feels safe. I love that picture. What a great story. So really, Bear wasn't that far from home. He was only 10 feet from his little cave, his little lair where he lives and sleeps. And the animals like to stay with him as well. They're like a little family, aren't they? So Bear was scared. He got lost. And um, he did a smart thing, though. When you get lost, if you keep going and keep going and keep going, you can get really, really lost. He stayed in one place until his friends were able to find him. So that was a pretty smart decision that he made. And his friends did come. They realized he wasn't there. It was getting dark. There was a storm. And they didn't say, I'm not going out. It's too scary. They said, nope, let's all get together and go find our friend. And they did. And Bear was safe again. So I hope you enjoyed the story, Bear Feels Scared. And it's always a great idea to think that when you do feel scared, Think about who makes you feel safe or what makes you feel safe. Is it holding that special stuffed animal? Does that make you feel better? Is it talking to mommy and daddy about it? Does that make you feel better? Is it maybe writing or drawing a picture? Does that make you feel a little bit better? So what makes you feel safe? Maybe there's a special place in the house that makes you feel safe. So think about those things and that would be a good conversation to have with mommy and daddy too about when you do feel scared, what can you do to feel safe again, okay? I think a hug from mommy and daddy always helps too. So draw me a great picture. Remember, Bear is the main character, so make sure you have him in your picture. Show the setting too. There were great pictures of the setting in here. They were in the dark forest. It was windy and rainy. Um, and you can draw all the different characters if you'd like to as well. So draw me a great picture and tell me, um, maybe you wanna tell me about a time when you felt scared or how you felt when you're reading the story, how it made you feel and what you thought Bear was feeling in the story, you could tell me that too, okay? Thank you boys and girls for being such great listeners. I can't wait to see your pictures and your writing. 
ask mommy and daddy to post those on our Google Classroom site, okay? Good job, boys and girls. I'll see you soon.